Hello everybody. Today we discuss multiplication and division. You may have wondered uh, we were discussing addition and subtraction and we have not uh, touched multiplication and division. One reason is it is very complex okay, and uh, you need actually repeated number of addition and uh, subtraction and uh, we were discussing combinatorial circuit. So, uh, there are other ways, other approaches use, using you know sequential logic uh, circuit concept to arrive at these two, but uh, uh, let us venture into uh, a combinatorial circuit based uh, binary multiplication uh, approach and similarly for binary division in this particular class. So, uh, in the beginning we shall look at uh, the concept of binary multiplication and division and then we shall look at the uh, one uh, such circuit logic circuit. Okay. So, binary multiplication uh, if you uh, uh, understand uh, is uh, if you are multiplying uh, similar to you know decimal multiplication here only we are using binary digit. Okay. So, if you are multiplying 0 with 0, so the result will be 0 of course, 0 with 1 it will be 0, 1 with 0 it will be 0 and 1 with 1 it will be 1. So, if we are uh, looking at uh, multiplicand uh, x and multiplier y, okay, which are called uh, both are called factor and the result is the product, then if we put them in the form of a truth table, the relationship is x and y is your m. Okay. Now, this is for 1 bit, right? but if you are uh, increasing the number of bits, so here is an example of 4 bit uh, multiplicand multiplied with the 2 bit multiplier. So, the example is taken is of 13 and 2, so it is 26 we know all right, in uh, from decimal multiplication. So, here how do you do? First you multiply with 0, d y you would have done in the case of decimal multiplication. So, 0 multiplied with uh, 1 1 0 1, this will be just 1 bit kind of thing, each of this is a 1 bit uh, operation. So, this is the end operation that you do, so it is all 0, right. Then uh, we shift it, I mean when, uh, so this we, we do not consider this particular place, at the next position we have 1 multiplied uh, with uh, 1 1 0 1, so this is 1 1 0 1 only. So, this is what we are having now. So, 0 directly comes here as the uh, m 0, the value in the first place, units place and 0 1 1, 0 0 0 1 0 1 and this is 1. Okay. If there is a carry then we will add it, I mean this is normal addition, is it fine? And we can see this number to be what? Uh, this is 16, this is 8, 24 and this is 2, 26 it works, is not it? And uh, if we want to look at example with carry when we are doing the multiplication, uh, so basically this is uh, 13 with 3, it is 39, right? So 13, 13 remains, this is 1, 1, 3 we are multiplying. So this is your 1, 1, 0, 1, this is your 1, 1, 0, 1. So this 1 directly comes here and rest we have to do uh, by going through the addition process. So 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, a carry is generated here. So this carry and this 1, so 0 and a carry is generated here. So, this carry is the final carry and you can see the two, this to be 32 and these three together is 7 we know. So, uh, 39 is it fine. Similarly, for uh, 4 bit uh, 4 bit into 4 bit multiplication if you are looking at then we have got uh, an example 1101 with 1011. Okay. So, 13 into 11. So, this is 143 in decimal. So, here first with multiplication with 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 comes, then 1, 1, 0, 1, it is just shifted by 1 bit. So, this 1 will directly come here, then 0 is multiplied, so all 0, then finally 1, 1, 0, 1. Then you do the adding and if you uh, perform that, you will see that it is coming this way. This is 128 and this 4 ones are 15, so 143. Is it okay? We have understood how binary multiplication is done. Uh, in reference to decimal multiplication that we are already familiar with. Okay. Now, if we look at the hardware or the logic circuit for uh, realization of uh, this uh, multiplication, 
So, first we look at 4 bit uh, into 2 bit. Okay. So, in this case uh, uh, this is a 4 bit uh, number. Now, it is generalized earlier we have taken specific example. So, 4 bit number could be anything. So, which we represent using x 3, x 2, x 1 and x 0 and uh, this is uh, as y 1 and y 0. So, first we are multiplying uh, y x 3 to x 0 using y 0. So, that is end of uh, this uh, uh, x 3 with uh, x 3 x 2 x 1 x 0 with y 0 bitwise and right. So, this is represented here, this is represented here. Is it clear? Okay. And then this uh, y 1 ended with x 3 to x 0. So, this is there. right? And when you perform the addition, it this 2 will be per added and this will directly go as m 0. Okay. And then this addition will come as m 1 and there may be a carry and all those things will be happening. So, if you look at the corresponding circuit, one possible circuit. right? So, first uh, a bank of AND gate to input AND gate. right? One input of it is y naught. In every case, you see y naught. Right? And the other input is x 3 uh, in the first case to x naught in the last case. Right? So, this is the AND output. So, this AND output directly goes this as m naught. Okay? And whatever is generated this x 1 y naught, x 1 y naught over here is to be ended with is to be added with next uh, it is called partial product partial product okay so in this case uh, this next case you see all of them are y1 this is y1 right and this is x3 to x0 so whatever is generated by this and right x0 y1 need to be added with x1 y0 that is getting added right and with that whatever uh, output is coming I mean uh, that is going here as m 1 and the carry will be fed to the next place this x 2 y naught x 1 y 1 addition. So, x 2 y naught x 1 y 1 addition. So, this is coming as carry from the previous stage and this output will be m 2 and so on and so forth. This is the way it will go on. So, for if number of you know this bits over here is m and this is n. So, total m plus n number of bits are possible in the product. Okay. So, this we understand. Okay. So, uh, now we look at a uh, little bit more complex thing. So, this is 4 bit cross 4 bit multiplication. Okay. So, that is why you see a little bit you know the complexity of it for which we have uh, reserved it towards the end of the combinatorial logic circuit related discussion. Uh, so, uh, so, this is the way it has been arranged. So, stage by stage. So, we have uh, uh, if it was 4 bit by 2 bit, this is the uh, bank of uh, adder where we had ended the result. Now, uh, 2 more bits are there, third bit and fourth bit for which you see another 2 such bank of adders are there. Okay. And uh, this will give you finally m naught to m 7. right? And to understand it, let us uh, look at one example. Since uh, this uh, place is already clumsy, I have taken it uh, to the right hand side, okay. but it will be difficult to understand. And which example shall we take? So, we shall take that 13 uh, multiplied by 11 example okay. and we shall see that how it works in the hardware right? uh, in this particular array based arrangement. So, uh, so 13 x 3 to uh, x 0 and uh, 11 is your y 3 to y 0 over here. Okay. So, the first row uh, this uh, x 3 to x 0. So, this is your 0 uh, this is the first row adder input that we are talking about. So, this is the first row adder input. So, this 0 is there in this particular place. right? and after that x 3 y 1. So, x 3 y 1. So, when we multiplied with all these things it is 1 1 0 1. Right? So, this is 1 1 0 1 that you get and the other one is uh, other input of the uh, uh, your this particular uh, uh, adder is x 3 uh, x 2 x 1 uh, x 0 ended with 
uh, y not y not is one so that is also giving you one one zero one right so this one one zero one is a shifted version you see here it is zero right and here it is not getting added with anyone so this is your one one zero one right so this one is finally directly going here as a uh, output right uh, for the product generation so these are the inputs of the uh, uh, this half adder uh, bank of half adder that you are uh, bank of adder you are having the first one is half adder rest are full adder is it okay so when you add it up when you add it up then what you see this is 0 1 is 1 1 0 is uh, 1 so the this input of the hard okay so this half adder this uh, full adder input is one of the input of the next uh, um, adders okay next set of adders so this is the input to the next set of adder that is going as the add adder uh, output okay so this is what you see in the next group so these are the adder uh, output okay adder output from the previous stage this is the uh, uh, carry that you get from the previous stage okay and then again you multiply it with uh, what y2 with x3 x2 x1 x0 y2 is 0 so it will be all 0 so that is what you see here 0 0 0 0 right is it fine then again you add it up and that addition result will come okay this addition result is coming here 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 if there is any carry it will it is coming the carry is coming here okay right and then again you and it uh, multiply it with one with this uh, 1101 so this is 1101 okay then again you see the uh, result so 01 this is 100 110 that one is coming over here carry 11 0 and this is 1 right so you collect all these 1 and that is giving you your final result that is 1 triple 0 1 1 1 1 okay so duty positive of time i mean otherwise you can uh, put them uh, over here individual places and see how it is happening right so you have just placed it uh, side by side but you can in a uh, bigger picture you can uh, put all those values and in, uh, keep uh, adding it one after another and you can find that you are able to arrive at uh, this result okay and for other set of numbers also fine so you can move to division right so uh, binary division uh, in this case uh, we are having uh, two outputs okay one is quotient another is remainder and uh, the uh, dividend is getting divided by the divisor right and uh, if dividend is represented by capital d divisor by small d quotient by q and remainder by r then this is what you get okay and how uh, division uh, can be implemented implemented uh, it is similar to what you had done in your decimal division. So, if you take an example like say 1011 is getting divided by 11. Okay. So, first of all this 10 is small, right. So, even if you multiply, if you have to multiply it with a 0 only, leading 0 does not make any sense. So, this is 0, 0, if you subtract you get 10 only and then you take the next bit. Okay. So, that is 101. So, now you can you have 1 over here possibility is only 1 or 0 is not it. So, 1 means this is 1 1. Okay. So, if you subtract this is 0 this is 1 and this borrow that you have taken so borrow was here so 1 1 it you know cancels. Okay. So, you get 1 0 then you take the next value so basically this is 1. So, this is 1 0 1 so again a 1 goes there so 1 1 right and then again if you subtract you get 1 0 and it stops here. So, your quotient is 1 1 right quotient is 1 1 and remainder is 1 0 right. So, 1 0 1 1 is 11. So, what you have got is 3 
was you are dividing with 3, you got quotient 3 and remainder 2, which is fine, 3 into 3 plus 2, that is 11. Is it okay? So, that was 4 bit getting divided by 2 bit. So, if you have got a example with a bit bigger, so this is 7 bit getting divided by 4 bit. Okay? So, the first case you take uh, 1, so basically 1 1 0 1 here, so if you subtract you get 1, right only 1 and 2 leading zeros, right. So, you bring 1 1 from here, but then uh, you, this number is smaller, right. So, 0 you have to take as quotient, so this 0, so it is if you subtract you get only 0 1 1 only, so you bring next 0. So you still see that the number is uh, smaller, so you have another 0 over here, so 2 zeros, right. So, uh, then uh, subtract 1 1 0, then you bring 1 from here and this is 1 1 0. So, this is a case where there is no remainder. So, there could have been remainder depending on the value that is there. Okay? So, the original number 1 1 1 0 1 0 1, this is 117 and you are dividing with uh, uh, 1 1 0 1 that is 13 and what you have got here is 9, quotient is 9 and remainder is 0. Okay? Now, to uh, implement it, okay, we shall look at again uh, an array based structure right? and in this array we shall use uh, the at the cross point a unit cell. So, this unit cell here looks something like this. Okay. So, uh, we shall explain it what it is right? and we shall see one example of course, uh, 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 the way we had seen before. And uh, so, for that, uh, so this unit cell has got uh, what you see here a input x and y and this is a full subtractor x minus y full subtraction that is there. Okay. Subtraction we have learnt using uh, two's complement, right? But we can have standard uh, subtractor, full subtractor circuit as well. Okay? So, for example, uh, this is a full subtractor truth table. Okay? So, this is borrow in, this is borrow out, this is the difference, and this is x from which y is subtracted. Okay? So, 0, 0, this is 0, 0, 1, x minus y you are talking about. Okay? So, 0, 1, so difference is 1 and borrow is. 1, okay. 1 0, this is 1, no borrow is required, 1 1, this is 0 0. So, this is 0 0, but there is a borrow from the previous stage, borrow in. So, basically it is 0 minus 1, that particular case. So, this is 1 1. So, this is 1 1, right. So, that is basically 0 minus 2, it becomes 1 plus 1 becomes 2. So, if you take a borrow from the previous stage, so this is borrow. Right. So, borrow is 1 means 2 it becomes from the previous stage because it is a higher place. So, the difference is 0. So, 1 1 this is this is 0 0 and 1 1 1 okay. then basically 1 and you are taking a borrow. So, which is becoming 3 3 minus this is 1 and 1 2. So, basically 1 borrow and 3 minus 2 is 1. So, this is the way you can get the truth table and if you look at now the relationship you will see that the difference is coming for the cases where there is only odd number of ones here, here, even number of ones, so this is 0. Okay. So, uh, again here, again here. So, basically this is XOR between X, Y and B in. And similarly, if you look at B out, it is X prime Y plus X prime B in plus Y B in. It is similar to carry, but in this uh, carry generation case, this was not X prime and this was C in, carry in. Okay. So, so, this is the way we can get the full, uh, full subtractor circuit, right. Fine. Now, uh, this full subtractor there is input B in and there is the output B out. Okay? And uh, then this out this full subtractor output goes to a 2 to 1 multiplexer. Okay? So, there is a select line, one select line, right? 2 to 2 1 multiplexer circuit and the relationship we already know. So, if this is 0, if the input over here is 0, then x is passed as the unit cell output. There is the catch, there is the nice thing about it, the uh, full subtractor uh, algorithm or the approach that we shall see. Okay. So, if it is 0, then 
this one, what is to be subtracted in this particular cell, that only gets passed, not the subtraction result, not the, not the difference. Okay? And if this is 1, then the difference gets passed. The difference gets passed. So, this is what we need to take note of and this is the thing. Okay? And what the other output is see that whatever is being done here, okay, same information, same select input is going to the next stage. So, there could be other such cell which is asking for same kind of in a select input for the multiplexer for that particular stage. Is it clear? So, borrow out, borrow in the number from which this number to be subtracted and finally, the result which is number from which it is subtracted or the difference okay, depending on the select input. Right. And this is the way we represent the unit, unit cell. Right. So, these are the corresponding inputs. So, borrow in, select output, select input, uh, borrow out, uh, this is uh, number to be subtracted, uh, uh, this is subtract, this is minor end and this is the uh, output whether it is uh, minor end or the difference. Okay. So, again uh, with complex circuit, right, but this is doing a division of a 7 bit number by a 4 bit number. Okay. Uh, if you want 8 bit number to be divided by uh, you know 4 bit number, then one more stage here over here uh, need to be uh, need to be added. Okay. So, uh, that is the way it has to be seen. Okay. And you see uh, that uh, the arrangement is the way we normally divide in, divide from the higher bit. So, the d 6 is here d 6, d 5, d 5, d 4, d 3 then d 2, d 1, d naught. So, gradually it is making a right shift. Okay. So, in sequential logic based circuit development of multiplier and uh, you know divider, the kind of shift it is required left, right, these are all taken into consideration. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this is the circuit right? and uh, now what you can see that uh, this borrow out that was getting generated that borrow out its inverted form is actually getting fed as the select input of the uh, multiplier. Okay. So, in the final stage, if a carry is generated, carry is generated. So, this is 1. So, this is then it will become 0. Okay. So, when carry is generated, then uh, if you go back, If it is 0, then the number from which it is uh, you know sub, uh, subtracted is minus end will come here and otherwise the difference will come. Is it okay? So, this is what is the case and this uh, inverted part of the carry okay, is what is going to give you the quotient and this is what is going to give you the reminder. So, this is, this is the way reminder will come. Okay. So, this is the algorithm which has been arrived at and given a uh, uh, given a, a shape through a unit cell based array uh, 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 divider circuit. Okay. So, now we can uh, to appreciate it, let us quickly go through an example. Okay. Uh, so, the example we take is the same one uh, that we had taken before that is 117 by uh, divided by 13. Right. So, uh, so, this is the dividend and this is the divisor. Okay. So, uh, dividend then these bits d 6 to uh, d uh, naught, these are there. So, first we shall take up d 6, d 5, d 4, d 3. So, this is 1, 1, 1, 0. So, this is d 6, d 5, d 4 and d 3 that is in blue. Okay. And divisor is 1, 1, 0, 1. So, this is divisor. That, that is in brown. Is it okay? Then what you are doing? We are doing the subtraction, and uh, in each of the subtraction, we are looking at the borrow. So zero, uh, one is subtracted from zero. So this is one. 
right so this borrow is coming over here 110 right 110 again 110 so final carry is 0 right so its inverted is 1 so that is your q3 okay so this is 1 right and this is the borrow out the final that is getting generated that you can see so when uh, uh, q3 is there so the difference result will be going to the next uh, level of subtractor uh, this thing uh, group okay so uh, what that that is what you can see here so this is your one one this is zero is coming here this the subtraction is zero the subtraction is zero right in this case the subtraction result was zero to subtraction it was one so one is coming here okay so these are the bits that you get for the mine unit and for the subtrend so first place it is zero so that is the zero over here and next is your d3 d2 d1 d0 so 1 1 0 1 and for this particular subtractor over here so d2 gets introduced d6 to d3 was there so d2 get is getting introduced here so this is in blue so d2 d2 is 110 then it is 1 so this 1 is coming over here is it fine so next you do what next you do again subtraction of uh, this particular set uh, right so this is your uh, you are here so 110 so 0 to 1 this is 1 uh, 0 minus 1 is 1 borrow is 1 1 1 0 this is uh, 2 right so there is a this is 0 so this is again 1 so this is uh, 0 minus 1 is 1 and then there is a borrow out which is 1 okay so this is a, there is a borrow out so then its inverse is uh, 0 so this is your uh, quotient uh, q2 okay so this inverse is now going to the multiplexer input all these multiplexer input so when it is 0 then the minus end not the difference will come to the next level of full subtractor okay so here this result 0 will not come so this 0 will come over here okay so this 0 will come over here this one will come over here and this one will come over here not the uh, difference result okay that is uh, what we have seen the operation of the multiplexer so for now the uh, this particular subtractor we are having 0 uh, introduced from as d1 and what is to be subtracted is again this 1101 1, 1 in the brown okay and for this particular class it is 0 only right fine so then again we perform the subtraction and see so 0 to 1 uh, we have a borrow of 1 so 1 1 it is 0 1 1 it is 0 1 to 0 this is uh, 1 right then 1 to uh, 1 to 0 uh, this is again 1 and then there is a borrow 1 okay so again there is a borrow 1 that is present so its inverse is 0 so you get q1 also and then again this is 0 so what you will see the uh, minus end coming to the next level of subtractors okay not the difference result so that is what is coming over here right 0 this is 1 this is 1 this is 0 and this is 1 is coming as the d not bit so we have got 1 1 0 1 and over here is 0 so to be subtracted is d3 to d not so this is 1 1 0 1 okay now if you subtract right you see that this is 0 0 0 all of them are 0 and the borrow is 0 so its inverted is 1 okay and uh, had there been some number present that would have been the reminder so reminder here is zero, all zeros all uh, in, i mean r3 r2 r1 and r0 okay these are 0 0 0 0 right and uh, your uh, q3 to uh, q 
q2 q1 q0 so this is your q3 and this is q0 you take all the borders right so 1 0 0 1 okay so this is the way it is done you can try with some other number also right and wherever you have seen uh, that uh, only 0 is getting added or the first stage instead of full subtractor we can have half subtractor okay we have not discussed that uh, logic truth table or the circuit but we can you can similarly get it okay fine so with this uh, we come to the uh, conclusion of this particular class so product from binary multiplication of two one bit number is obtained from logical end operation of the numbers and for uh, getting uh, more uh, more than one bit numbers uh, the multiplication result we can get by adding the partial products after appropriate shift and the combinatorial circuit uh, to get a multiplier performs that shift within the arrangement okay and binary division will generate quotient and remainder it involves subtraction and of division after again appropriate shift so the commutator circuit for that uh, using cell array uh, performs that uh, shift within the arrangement and as we discussed that it can be done by sequential logic circuit by some other arrangement uh, which uh, in certain sense uh, can be considered efficient in certain context mode uh, okay and that we shall take up later so thank you